Okay. Hey, Will. How's it going, Roland? <laughs> Will Clute. He is the Indian guide up here on the on the Mohawk uh, Reservation. It's not really a reservation, it's a territory, is yeah, it? Yeah, it's Mohawk Territory in upstate New York. And you are the only guide here on the whole reservation. Right. The whole territory. Look at that. How big is that? That's a nice three-pounder, huh? Yeah, he's a real nice three-pounder. That's a good three-pounder. Well, we just started. I haven't made a cast yet. Will made his first cast. My first. That was your first cast. And look at that. Look at this smallmouth. Big old three or so pound smallmouth on Will's first cast, son. Hey, that's getting it done. That's how we do it. <laughs> now, that's just really kind of an average fish, right? Yeah, this is this is our average size. We average between three and five pounders up here. Wow. And it's it's fall fishing. You can see their stomachs are just Oh, look how big it is. Feeding. Now, what are they eating? What's that fish eat? Well, we have a, a big population of perch, okay. shiners, and crayfish. A huge population because of the bottom of the river here of yeah. uh, crayfish. But the gobies have just moved okay. in, so we wow. have a lot of gobies here now. Now, now, Will, the, the Mohawk uh, uh, territories is right on the, the St. Lawrence River. Yeah, and it's hundreds of thousands of acres. I mean, you got a lot right. of territory here. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put him back. Yeah. Okay. Well, hey, what'd you catch that thing on? Um, it's a a little grub I was making. Okay. Oh, that's just your own lure. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's a little prototype grub that we're we're using. Okay. Gajo baits. I also. Yeah. Uh, you know, I got my own bait company, Gajo Baits, and uh, yeah, this is one of my prototype grubs we're working Good. on. We'll be throwing them today. Now, I don't have any tackle with me, and I'm with my son Scott in the other boat, and today yeah. you're, you're you're kind of going to be taking care of me, and you're going to be showing me a few, a few of your tricks. And, yeah. And, and, and I'll tell you what we're going to do, folks. We're talking about fall smallmouth fishing on the St. Lawrence area. Will's going to point out a couple really good patterns, and that's pretty good for the first cast. Yeah. <laughs> to make another cast. See Let's what get happens. Let's get See what happens. That's pretty good. Okay. What, what's your second cast going to be? Uh, I'm just going to throw it back up there and let it come back down. <laughs> Go, let's see if, it, it there, see if we can catch one of the second cast. Let's see if we can do it again. He makes a cast. Oh, oh I got a little. You got to throw farther than that. <laughs> okay, that doesn't count. That, that, that test doesn't count. I had a little twist in my line. Okay, second cast. Second cast. Let's see what second happens. Second cast. Boom. Throwing it out and there. Just letting it sit there. Yeah. And what's happening is the current's coming this way, and there's a little sand flat by the edge of a drop off. Yeah. And so what we're doing is we're just letting it drag along the bottom. Yeah. And these small mouth will come. There's one right there. He just. You got it. You got it. He just. Get ready. He it. Get ready. He, it. he he tapped that tail. Huh? He did. The ribbon tail on it. Come on. Here he comes. Here he comes. See if we can get Turn it. my hat around. And get ready. Get Here we go. On. Get your hat on. Oh, look at that rod. There's the rod. He's pulling on it. What do you think, Will? These rods are real sensitive. Huh? Oh, they're really These yeah. are nice. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Pull it slow and easy, huh? That's it. Just present it. The tail action, the softness of that bait, the tail action is what really gets them going this time of year. Okay. Okay, it dropped off the edge. What it is, it's six foot up there, then it drops into 20. And what they're you. doing is they're swimming up on that edge. I got you. Okay. <laughs> right here on this edge. Was that the rod that Scott gave you? Yeah. Yes, it's the one that Scott okay. gave me. Okay. Okay. So I'll be using that yeah, one. Yeah, you'll so. be using okay. this one. I just, I just rigged it for you real quick. That's good. We gotta run up to the other spot because okay. it's, it's gangbusters. Okay. I want. You got one. You got one. He's got one. He's got one. He's got one. It's the third cast. You didn't oh, catch one in the second that's cast. That's a giant. That's, that's a, a giant. giant. Look at this. That he's got a bigger one yet. Giant. He's gonna, he, he didn't catch one in the second cast. He got a monster on the third, third cast. cast. Look at that guy. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, my heavens. Big old smallmouth. I might need the net for this one. Uh, you think so? Yeah, this is a big one. It's a big one. Oh, look at that guy. Look at that guy. Take this roll and okay. grab the net. Okay. Thank you, sir. Look at this guy. He, he will hand me the rod. <laughs> We'll get the net on we'll this one. We'll get through it. Yes, there we go. Oh, Will. How big is that one? That's close to five pounds there. Oh, man, that's a good one. Huh? That's close to five pounds right there. Look at that thing. It's a gigantic fish. It's a fish. really high form. So, so, so this time of year, you have just a ton of fish that size. Yes. They're, they're, the, the main population of fish we have here is this size. Right here. Yeah. Wow. This is what we're going to catch a lot of today. <laughs> 
Hey, and Will is my guide. Hey, that's a good guide, isn't it? I got the best guy on the whole river. We're going to get Adam rolling. <laughs> and by the way, you told me we're on the reservation now. Mm -hmm. Oh, we we're on the territories now. Yep, yeah, the territory. I, and I don't need a license. If no. I have a license, but I don't really need one. No, uh, no, you when don't. I, as when long I fish as... with you. Our rules and regulations here that we have on the territory is if you're fishing with the guide, you fall under his guide license and his... So, his so I mean, theoretically, I have a license, but I, yeah. I don't really need one. No, no, okay. you don't need okay. it as long okay. as you're fishing with me. Okay, yeah. good, good. All right, Super cool. deal. Oh, son. Let's pull him back. Yeah, yes, sir. And we'll get going again. Okay. The little Ned rig. You know, it's funny about these Ned rigs. Back, uh, I used to fish with uh, Ted Capra out of Minneapolis. He passed away a couple years ago. But we'd go up to Minnetonka in those places and take little four-inch... A Cinco's, yeah. cut just a couple inches off, and yeah. actually end up with a with a little piece of four inch Cinco on a, on a, what we call a, a jig head. Yeah. And we just had a little helmet jig head, and we called it a jig worm combination. And it was 25 years ago. <laughs> now they call it the Ned Rig, and it's like a new deal. It's like no, it's not really because yeah. <laughs> they're using it a long time. All right. This, this is all bedrock in here. A lot of boats. He just kind of stopped it. He hit it real close to the boat. It, he didn't hit it hard though. He just he just came up and just and I don't know what he did. He just he, he just like like hung up. I didn't feel the strike really, but it's a nice one. Nice big smallmouth. Probably three pounds or so. Maybe not. Maybe smaller than that. Oh well. I'm from Florida. Any any smallmouth big for me. <laughs> Yeah, that's a little one. Just a little bit. It's a good he start. He didn't hit her hard though. Little baby. Maybe he catch ones twice as big. But again, that little jig worm, they call it the Ned Rig. It's really just a, a little piece of Cinco, what four inch Cinco cut about an inch off, about a three inch deal. Now, the way I fish it, and you tell me if I'm right or wrong. I just kind of drag it. I mean, I'm not really twitching the rod much. I mean, not 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 really. I'm just kind of just barely pulling it along. That's how the way I normally fish in that rig. I mean, some people are, you know, you'd think you'd do like that, but I I don't really jig it like that. Just pull this pull it slow and easy. <laughs> yeah, the weather's turned cold. It's gotten cold. It's, the weather's gotten like 10 degrees colder. This morning it was 50 something degrees, now it's like 40 something degrees. And I've had to put my hood on, but I'm still catching them down deep on this, on the little Cinco deal. And I'm basically what I'm doing, I'm just throwing it up current as far as I can. It's supposed to rain, the temperature's dropped to about 10 degrees. Hey, but we're still catching fish.
and a half or three pounds, if you get just the right swing on them, you can swing them in the boat. But again, I'm using that little Ned rig, and it's just a matter of, it's a subtle bite. These fish aren't hitting it hard, they're really hitting it light. Just, just the slightest little twitch. What you got? She's out there. She's jumping. Huh? This is just fighting. I don't know exactly the size yet, but it's, it's fighting. It's a smallie. Yeah. Sometimes you can tell just by the head shape. Like he's pulling. He's pulling. So yeah. I don't know if he's uh, big, big, big. It's just. Hey boys, let's see about this guy. That's a good size fish. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, that's a, probably four or five pounds. Oh, he's definitely four pounds. Huh? That's definitely a four pounder. Yeah. Maybe more. Want to weigh him? And he just, let's see. Good. We had a hit, and then he turned around and he came back and he hit him. Let's go ahead and weigh him. Yeah, I got a. Okay. And then we weigh him. He's actually three ten, three nine. No, okay, right. He's not four, uh, close, yeah. close to four. He's close to four. Close to four. Because it, it, it goes to four. Tenth. We've had a couple like that. We've we've had three or four right in that same size. Yeah. We just haven't broke the four yet much, but good 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 smallmouth. Yeah, he's one yeah. tenth off of four. You know, it, the, the, well, as soon as you release him, Will, if you would show us your uh, down, drop shot, okay. show us your rig. Okay. Because uh, what what I tell you what what Will's doing, Will's kind of doing a different kind of rig than I am. Okay, Will. Now we were just talking about a couple of different rigs here. What uh, the rig that you got now is the traditional drop shot rig. Now, yeah. how, how how what are you doing to rig it up? Well, I just uh, a lot of guys this style sinker here. It's got that slide lock on it. Is it? Yeah. And what I find with these sinkers, if you don't, my little trick I do is I tie a little knot in the line. Okay. I just tie a little knot see, in the line so, so it doesn't slide through the eye. Because okay. a lot of guys will just hook it directly to the line, leave okay. it in case the sinker gets caught. And then it pulls it, loose. Yeah, yeah, it just pulls loose. But I find that sometimes, especially here in the St. Lawrence, with the, usually you get caught in a zebra muscle or something like that. I tie a little knot. So if you get a, you know, you give it a little tug, it'll actually come out. You'll be able to save yourself. Now, how, how far up are you tying that, that hook? I got There's about, about 20 inches. Half, but, huh? There's about 20 hook, inches there. 20 inches? Yeah. And that hook. Let's see, we'll just look at that hook real quick. Yeah. That's what you call a drop shot hook. What is, what is that hook? That's a, uh, a live bait drop shot hook. Okay. You, you notice it has a little twist in it. A I little twist. That. And what yeah. I find with this style hook is when it gets lodged in the bass, when you hook a bass, it, it bends sideways. You don't lose as many fish as like you do with okay. a standard straight, okay. straight drop yeah. shot hook. Yeah. That little bend in it. And all I'm doing is I'm taking my spirit shad. This is a little drop shot. Gobi imitator that I, I make yeah. and I just hook it through the nose yeah. and then you use it just like that and you, you're dropping a current yeah. and the reason why like in this current you use a little bit longer leader yeah. is because the current's flowing with your sinker and what it does is it it, it, uh, it causes a, a bow in the line. okay and so with the longer leader your bait will actually sit up a little higher off the bottom okay with a shorter drop, it'll actually almost be sitting on the bottom. So okay. you won't see as many fish. Okay. The fish are usually six inches off the bottom this time of the year. Yeah. They're swimming and it sticks the bait. You, you leave that longer, it sticks the bait like right in front of their face so they can get at it easy. I got you. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So you're talking about a thousand miles. <laughs> yeah. Between there Just and say, like, oh, I said, what you got? Oh man, he's off. Crazy. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Be a five pounder. That's, Here we that's go. my goal. Five he just, pound fish. We got to get a five pounder. Now I might be the five right here. I like these little rods, these little favorite rods. This is that this is that really good one. This thing's fight like crazy. Uh, I don't know if he's cool. Probably not. He's not. He 
just ha he's just a happy happy go lucky three and a half. don't realize how big they are because these these little three pounders fight fight as much as a five pounder you know what I mean it's it's crazy 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 well, again I'm just throwing it out there letting it drift <laughs> not much of it not much of a fight but you know that was funny I just really I know it was a small fish but he really fought well I mean, he saw, he, he put up every bit of fight as a four pounder, and yet he wasn't half the... That's the, that's what they call the uh, river fish here. Yeah. The river, they're, they've been living in that current their whole life. But they, they just fight. And uh, he's next to me. He's got his shot, man. And, and the one man, the one now flies. Get, get him. I got 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 him. I have no idea. These things are just... They just get me. I don't know. Oh, that's... I think that's bigger than you think, Roland. Yeah, it's a bigger one. You don't know. I, I'm telling you, he's four pounds are better. And he didn't fight any harder than, than, than the two pounder. I'm telling you. And this is a big oh, fish. This is a big fish. It's a big fish. And look at it. It's probably... Pounds are better, and I did not know that he was big. I couldn't tell, and he's a four-pound fish. Yeah, four, two, four, three. Okay, yep. a little over four pounds. Okay, now that's talking. So you gotta have to, to have a twenty-pound string. You have to have five fish like that one, right. and then you're competitive. Right. You know, that's that's good. But you know, again, well, it was. I swear, I was. If anything, that last two pounder fought as good as that four pounder. I'm right. telling you, he did. That's it, was, it was amazing. Okay, so let me get another one. <laughs> a surprise guess that everyone's gonna know. Uh, we're out here practicing for a local bass tournament. Let me turn this around and introduce you guys to my surprise guest. And everyone's gonna know who this gentleman is. Hey folks, Bill Dance here. How you doing? <laughs> Dance. <laughs> nah. I don't know. I'm Roland Martin. Uh, yep. I'll have to admit. I'm Scott Martin's dad. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody say, well, who now. are you? I'm Scott Martin's dad. Okay, I get it now. Will, what you got? I have no idea. Ooh, oh, that's, that's a good, good one. one. That's a good oh, one. Oh, that's a good one. one. He's coming right at us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that guy. He's running right at us. Ooh, that's a good one. That Ooh, is a nice one. Oh, that's a good oh, cool powder. Ooh. That's what you want. That's what we're looking for. Well, I tell you what, YouTubers, you come up here to this part of New York, <laughs> and Will can help you out, son. I know the beautiful four-pound fish. I want to. I want to thank you for a heck of a day. You know, we've had some great times together. And Will, you're a champion guide, and I know anybody that's interested in uh, in trying to get a guide service uh i'll put you i'll put your phone number at the end yep. of the head of the show and we'll Look me up online yeah the mohawk trails guide service the mohawk trails guide service okay yep. and uh and so you guide for what, what what what's your season we do uh right from the spring okay and right into the fall my last trip last year well it got kind of cold was december 20th oh really yeah we were still out here. but this size fish i mean that's just that's not even a big one you, no, you this catch, is average this yeah is average. so you catch in the springtime, you're talking about sometimes you catch over 100 a day. Yeah. Yeah. So this time, this time of year too, you catch over yep. 100 a day. Anyway, folks, YouTubing is a lot of fun for me, and we post uh, every Wednesday at uh, about 6 o'clock, and we post every Sunday at about 6 o'clock. And uh, it's really a treat to have a real expert like like Will on the on the show and showing you a few things about how to catch these beautiful smallmouth up in upstate New York. So we'll see you again soon.